Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be getting ready together with products that I have been obsessed with that I don't use on camera on a daily basis and a new collab that came out that I got in the mail. I will be reviewing today for you. It is a first impression, but let's first start with moisturizing our lips. I've been obsessed with this Ilia lip balm. It just looks like this. I mean, it's basic, but it's so hydrating. Oh, and it smells heavenly. Like just a hint of fresh herb or something. I don't know, but it keeps my lips hydrated for hours and hours. So I use this to prep my lips. And I want to go in with my very favorite palette that I never, ever talk about. It is the Dominique Latte palette, and mine is beat up. I've had it forever. It's got the big mirror, it's got all these pans, and they're large pan sizes. This doubles as a contour, this doubles as um, a highlight, but we're not going to be using that today. So we're going to be going in with this palette. A product that I am obsessed with that I don't use on camera is this Makeup Revolution Eye Primer in the shade Core. Let's primer eyes with this. Now use this because it's definitely a dupe for the MAC Painterly Paint Pot or a soft ochre paint pot and it's like five dollars so I found a dupe out there for you in case anyone's interested I just love it it covers the veins it sets itself I mean what more can you ask for it looks the same it's got the same ish consistency it's a little bit thinner but I find that I like that even more it's way easier to blend out while the eyeshadow primer sits, I'm going to prime my face. And you would be surprised what my favorite primer is at the moment. Well, I've been obsessing over for quite some time. This is the No Problem Essence, the Prime Essence with Calendula Officinalis Flower Extract. It's from Touch and Soul. So it's just this liquidy sort of primer. And I don't know, it's just so refreshing to the face. Ugh. It's almost like an oil mixed with water or something. I don't know. I love this so much. Use this so much off camera. And then another primer I'm obsessed with for skincare benefits is this Ula and Rickson Banana Bright Primer. It gives such a nice glow. It smells just like bananas. So I kind of target it where I want the glow. And then, oh my gosh, the smell. If you haven't tried this, you are so missing out. I, at first, didn't like it that much. I was like, oh, what's the hype? But if your under eyes need a little bit of hydration, you want a little glow. I mean, look at that glow. Like, you can't go wrong with this stuff. It's got good skincare benefits. It smells absolutely amazing, like a tropical vacation. I am obsessed. The other thing you know I'm obsessed with, and you have to know this by now, is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. This has skincare benefit it benefit it benefit it benefits in it as well and so I just usually set the t-zone with this just where I have enlarged pores this also acts as a really great smoothing primer so if I have texture say here and here I'm just going to smooth it over those areas as well but it works so well and this is going to last me forever I've had this like six months already and it's lasted forever um, I did my brows off camera, but I used the Benefit Precisely My Brow in shade 4.5, and I set it with the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel, um, and I'm obsessed with that combo. I just never use it um, on camera or anything like that. I don't know why, but it's just my favorite go-to kind of thing. So let's check our eye primer and see if we're ready to blend. It might need to be set a little bit since I put a thick amount, but we have vanilla cream here, creme. So I'm going to be setting only from the crease upward. So just so that it's not tacky where we have to blend the most. I would like it to be more tacky on the lid where we will be blending shadows. So yeah, this is really a nice brow bone shade and it's good. It's like a setting powder as well. You can use it to set under your eyes or on top of your eye. 
whatever. It's a really good shade. I always start out with caramel. It's like my favorite shade in this. It's a beautiful transition shade. It's just like this nice tawny color, brownish. It's just like the best transition shade ever. And I could just load it up. I love this palette. This palette is so worth the money. The formulation is perfect. I mean, the pan size is huge. This is nothing like the um, new Rustic Glam she put out. This is so much better. And I stand by this in the Berries and Cream palette. So I just built that up. With the same brush, I'm going into Pumpkin Spice here, my favorite. I'm just gonna put this a little bit lower in the crease, just to add some dimension. This is a little bit more orangey with a little bit darker brown with a little bit of orangey undertones. Just doing a simple eye look. But this is just such a gorgeous palette. I can't get over it. All right. Now I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush and I'm going into Mocha, one of my favorite colors. I'm just going to blend this on the outer corner using tapping motions because this is a pigmented shade and I barely went in with any because first of all we don't want fallout all over our face secondly it's so hard to blend shadow that you've applied too much of especially a dark shade so you want to go in and just tap 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 and then blend out toward the center toward the middle and I'll just build this up until I would like the dimension. And I misspoke in my last video. This is the MAC 242, not the MAC 217. They are two totally different. This is a flat packer brush. I'm going to take my favorite shade, Macchiato, in here. And this is with a dry brush. And I'm just going to put that on the inner half where we meet the dark shade. And this is so foiled and pigmented. And just beautiful it's so beautiful as a highlight i highly recommend this palette because it's multifunctional, meaning you can use one of the shades as a contour one of the shades as a highlight you know things like that it's got a lot of shimmers in it it's got a lot of mattes it's got a couple colorful shades it's got just about everything you need in here for a neutral look every single day and i absolutely adore this palette so that's it for the eye look. Um, I'm going to go pop on some lashes and some liner, and I'll be right back. Something I became obsessed with, and I used to like the Kiss Lash Glue, but this Duo Dark Brush-On Adhesive with Vitamins Lash Glue is everything. I mean, this stuff takes no time at all to dry and to put on the face and have the lashes stick right away. I have like no issues. So I've been loving, dying over that. Okay, the two products that make the best foundation ever are the, is this one, the Giorgio Armani Silk Luminous Silk Foundation in 5.5 mixed with the Dior Backstage Face and Body or yeah, Dior Backstage in 1N. I mixed these two and it's like heaven. I'm obsessed. This is all I do when I'm not filming. So I just put, I don't know, I don't really know the ratio. And I mix it together and I just put that on my face. The Luminous Silk is so lightweight. I highly recommend that. I know it's a big purchase, but just wait for a 20% off sale or something like that. And it's you can get the mini, it's totally worth the money. And of course, you know, I love my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. But like, look at how beautiful that is. A great shade match. It doesn't emphasize texture. It's so lightweight, buildable. I just love it. This is my holy grail foundation combo. I, I can't get enough of it. I'm running low on the Armani Silk. Although I do not recommend the silk concealer at all. I didn't like it. But the foundation, one of my all-time faves. 
This I've never used on my channel. It's the KKW Shade 4 Concealer. It's amazing, full coverage, creamy, so highly blendable. It's $18. I've had it forever. A little goes a long way with this. Because I don't like such full coverage with my foundation, um, it's brightening, but it's not over the top. It blends in like a dream so fast. It covers so much. Like even that I put was too much. But watch, it's just so brightening, so full coverage. It is so lightweight. It's like the perfect concealer. Now the Kylie concealer, I don't like. This is the only concealer from this their line that I love and adore and the brightening powder which I'm out of but the wet and wild coverall is another obsession that I use all the time I just don't talk about ever on my channel except I did talk about it in the best pressed powders from the drugstore um if you haven't seen that video you totally should to set all my concealer, I've never mentioned this, but I'm in, in love and obsessed with the Too Faced Tutti Frutti uh, Banana Setting Powder. It has little bananas in it, it's so cute. So I take a dry sponge and I just rub it around and it's a little bit brightening. Nothing too crazy, but it smells like those little Pez candies. I just love it. Does a really good job at setting without making the under eye look crepey or old. I just love this and I never talk about it. Because I kind of messed it up, I think I have to use a brush with this. Another product I don't use on camera is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion um, Powder Foundation and I just, I love it, but mine is so crumbled and disgusting that um, I don't show it, even though it's crumbled. Like, I just love it. It does such a good job at being so full coverage. I like my CoverGirl Healthy Elixir, but I just lean toward the Flower Beauty even more every time. So I just take some of that and I just go over my entire face to set the perimeters. And it is like so full coverage. It's a powder foundation. So this really, I'm going to set my T-zone really well. Because it's summer and I tend to have combo skin. Like oily in the T-zone and dry everywhere else. So I just find that that really helps with the oils. So we're going to go back into the Dominique Cosmetics palette. And I'm just going to take Hazelnut. Which is this color right here and a really flat, small brush. And I'm just gonna run that along the lower lash line, really pretty close to my lash line. And that's all I'm gonna do for that. For liner on my inner waterline, I've been obsessed with the hard candy. It's like the 12 hour, um, liner like simple liner I'm trying to find it here and I can't ever seem to find what I need okay I got it so it's the hard candy stroke of gorgeous soft glide long wear eyeliner and I just run it in my waterline here so easy it glides so quickly and it lasts in the waterline for so long and for the lower lashes, I use the Shock Mascara. I don't know if I ever talk about it on my channel, but it's from YSL. I think I talked about it once, but I use the Shock Mascara. And I, I get mine in like the trial sizes because I find that if I use a tube of mascara, it always goes bad on me before um, I get to use the whole thing. So I love the idea of travel size mascaras. Every time I place a Sephora order and there's an option for a travel size mascara, I will always grab that up. I've got the Caution, I've got the NARS Climax. And guys, think about this, listen, I'm almost at 500 subscribers. When I get to 500 subscribers, there will be a giveaway. So tell your friends, tell your family, 
and there's going to be a pretty big giveaway, only one winner, but when I get to 500 subscribers, I will be doing a whole video dedicated to what's going to be in the giveaway. Just saying. For bronzer, I'm in love with this City Bronzer in the shade 200. It's my very favorite. I never use it on camera, but it is so forgiving. The perfect, perfect shade. I love how glidey it is. It's not patchy at all. It's just such an underrated bronzer. It's so, so gorgeous. I just find myself gravitating toward this one, even over my Morphe one. I don't know. I just use this all the time. I just find it is like perfection. A little under the lip. I love this. It looks so good. I have a blush combination. I use the Honest Beauty uh, Cream Blush in Rose Pink. So I just take it with a dry beauty blender and I rub the beauty blender in it, get some on it, and I just go over my cheek with it. It doesn't lift powder. It's so forgiving. It's so gorgeous. I live for this cream blush. It is a staple in my collection. I always have to have it. And then you guys might know that my favorite blush is this little tiny Pacifica Wild Rose Glowy Blush. It's, it, it's just perfection to me. You can't get any better than this. It's so gorgeous. You guys have to try it. It's like a light pink, but I just top this over the cream blush and it gives such a nice healthy glow. Do you guys see that? Obsessed. A little over the nose and then I just put the remainder everywhere else. So we have a collab. It's from Ofra and Samantha March and I just love and adore her. If you haven't heard of her, go follow her. She's so amazing. She uploads every single day, never misses a day, and she's got the most informative channel ever. I adore her. I love her. S totally support her. She came out with a collab with Ofra with her own highlight. So it's Ofra Highlighter March Beauty Word, and it's two of her favorite highlights. So we've got this lighter one and then a pinky one, and I'm going to swirl that all together and give you guys a swatch. Like, look at this beautiful swatch. It gives like a champagne pinkish vibe. I'm so excited to try this. This is my first impression. I just got this in the mail. Oh my goodness. This is so blinding. I went in with like this, the lightest hand. Oh, I didn't even dip back in to that, uh, the pan anymore and look at this it is so stinking pigmented already I'm living for this holy cannoli all right I'm gonna put that on my inner corner oh my word March beauty word totally support this woman she's worked her ass off I have to say and never misses an upload she's so nice kindest person ever she's got the best content I can't get over this this is great for fair and medium skin tones this side though needs to be toned down like this is intense blinding highlight just gonna go over where I put that this is so gorgeous. I've, I have an Ofra and Nikki tutorials one, but it's nothing like this. This is so intense and gorgeous. It doesn't enhance my texture at all. And I think it just sits really prettily. Prettily? Pretty? I mean, just, just take a second to admire when I smile. So intense. You guys need to get this. I only got mine for $24 and it's this humongous pants. It's got champagne and like I said, some pink reflect, but I don't see that pink reflect on my skin. It's mostly just lighter champagne and that I am all about. So for lipstick, I have been dying over this Revlon um, Kiss Cushion Lip Tint and I chose the shade Pretty Kiss. It's my favorite. 
I don't even use a lip liner. It just kind of rolls up and it's easy to apply. Oh, that's so gorgeous. So, so subtle. It's the most beautiful nude. I just love it so much. And I just adore it. My favorite setting spray is the Urban Decay D Slick setting spray. So I'm going to spray that. And that, my friends, is the final look. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That really helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you aren't already. Until then, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.